I love our competitiveness. I love our demeanor. I love how hard we play. Um, I love our want and our want to, and maybe so much so that they they feel too much pressure on the offensive end. Um, we're just not making enough shots right now. And I think people are starting to challenge us and, and say, make them take that. And until we prove that we can make some and, and bust out of a, a little bit of a shooting slump, I think this is what we're going to see. But um, I, I think overall, I like I liked who we were. I mean, obviously, if you hold Oregon 58 points, you're doing some good things. We just we just got to find some answers on the offensive end. Charlie Sledger Walker scored 24 points, had eight rebounds. She continues her early strong play here against Pac-12 competition. What what is it about her that just makes her such a hard guard and a hard defend? Even now that teams are half film on her and they know what she's going to bring, and, and they are scouting specifically for her. Well, obviously, I mean, there's just not a weakness in her game. Although I, I still think you know she's getting these points with with a lot of shots. I, I think we need her to shoot a little bit better percentage. Her three point shot shooting tonight was was obviously you know pretty solid. Um, but I, I honestly, I mean, I watch her every day in, in the gym and, and she shoots the ball really well, you know, in practice. So uh, I think as she gets older and gets it more it, used to this league and this, and this, this level, uh, she's going to become even a better shot maker, but she's just, she's, there's just no weakness in her game. So, um, but, and we're dependent on her. She takes a lot of shots for us. She gets, uh, she creates a lot of shots for us. Uh, we need obviously her to score. We just got to, We've got to get a lot of, you, you got to have more than one person in double figures um, to be successful. And, and 50 points is, is just not enough for, for our team. But w- where did you kind of put the onus defensively for your team in your second meeting with Oregon? And later in the game, how did they kind of snap out of their funk? Well, I thought the, the two – Two good a looks for Sedona. You know, we we know she can shoot from 17 feet, and we we didn't – we let her get two good a looks. I think that got them right back into it and maybe took the lead. Again, another banked shot at the buzzer, you know, on, on a kid that was a, a lunging layup, uh, hurt us late. Um, you know, they are just got a lot of weapons. I mean, again, you can talk about defense. We can talk about some – mistakes we made but we held them to 58 points so it's not like they really ever got it going it's just um we didn't match you know pretty minimal scoring we just we dried up um we never really had a great quarter and uh you know you're just not going to hold this team down forever there's just too many weapons pow pow created some mismatches and switches i mean they're really a hard team to guard and and if you tell me you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to fight you on what went wrong defensively, because I, I really don't think very many things went wrong defensively. What was uh, kind of the issue offensively? Uh, how would you assess that? Were, did you like the shot selections or were some of them a, a bit hasty, maybe, or, or some of that could have be chalked up to what Oregon was doing defensively or how they adjusted maybe? You know, I thought we we I thought we forced some shots. We we have this rule on offensive rebounds where if you don't have a layup, you got to throw one in and out because uh, that's when we think we get a lot of threes off of those. And I think we had three of those in the first half where people tried to take layups and we didn't get anything out of those. And and then we had another one in the second half. And those are the ones that really frustrate me because if those are those are in and out threes that, that I just feel like you shoot a lot higher percentage than your normal shooting percentage. Uh, those are the types of decisions that I think we just have to get better at right away. That really hurt us against this kind of length that you're not just going to get easy putbacks against this length. Um, you know, without watching the film, I think we got a lot of really good looks from three. I think all of Ula's shots were, were wide open, uh, you know, and it's just a, a, a player that's not, totally feeling it right now from three, but uh, we obviously need her to stretch the defense. I thought Yo's shots were really good. Um, Crystal is, this was an unusual night for Crystal to not find a way to, to make an impact on the offensive end as much as she has in the past. So it's not so much. um, I mean, again, they were, they, they weren't aggressive at all on on ball. So they were forcing us to take jump shots off, off the bounce. And, um, I think that's a shot Charlize really can make. I think that's a shot Crystal can. It's just, uh, I think that's a play that we like to put Lynn in 
we just didn't make a lot of those shots tonight and it feels pretty horrible when you when you don't put up more than 50 points but um it's just obviously we got to watch it and we got to see what we can do to get better Brennan Green, Crib. Hi, Coach. Um, you know, just in context of, you know, how the past three games have gone and everything, um, just how much more important now does this Oregon State game feel to, to get back on track for your team? Oh, I don't feel any any more pressure on this one than any other one. I mean, I just, again, I don't, I want my team not to feel the pressure. I want them to be so excited that they get to play another Pac-12 team. Um, I mean, if, if you're not, there's something wrong with you. So I don't want us to be bogged down. I mean, if you don't take some hits in this league with a young team, you know, who would have ever thought that we'd be sitting here, whatever we are, and really mad at ourselves for dropping four games or something. Like, you know, we're a really good team, and we have a chance to be a great team if we can kind of put together – you know, full games and, and get our offense going a little bit better. Um, but we're a really good team that is very competitive, that walks on the floor and w- is going to guard you and is going to is going to compete. And that's all I want on on Sunday. If we do that, you know, I'll take our chances on the offensive end. I think we're going to we're going to bring a good effort on the defensive end. And I think we'll, we'll hopefully we'll bounce out of kind of a shooting slump and, and light it up on against Oregon State. But hard team, hard environment on the road, and your team feels, you know, is disappointed, can't help but be disappointed. So there's a lot of things we got to overcome to to even put ourselves in a position to win that game.